Caravaggio try to come stand side. Harry Angel, though, leads Lamarto and intelligence cross. Brando flashing home. It's Harry Angel that wins the July Cup. So it's 25 years, would you believe it, since Dali first sponsored the July Cup, widely considered to be Europe's premier sprint group one. And Godolphin's own July Cup winner is to my right here, Harry Angel. And by God, he was brilliant that day for Adam Kirby and Clive Cox. Gareth now looks after Harry Angel here at Dalham Hall. He looks like everything he was on the race course, all power, speed, pace, bit of a coiled spring, Gareth. Yes, he is. He's very enthusiastic in everything he does. Um, and he's covering duties now. He is, he is, as you would have imagined, coming from the race course, being so busy and um, he goes into the covering barn, does his duties efficiently, he's brave, um, everything he was in the racetrack, yeah. Uh, do, you, do you enjoy him? Have you enjoyed being, being with him? Yeah, he's a great character. Um, <clears throat> he's just fun to be around, you know. He, he, you can see him for yourself. He's, he's, it's just a joy to look after a champion like him. And a, a, a real alpha? Yeah, yeah. Um, we have to come to an agreement. He tries to be alpha, I try to be alpha, but uh, yeah, we find a middle ground. But that's the way you have to do it, isn't it? When you're, yes, when you're doing absolutely. it with a stand, you have to yeah. keep their character, but yeah. harness it, yeah? Yeah, and I was told from a young age, less is more with horses, and it's the same, I find it's a great way with stallions, is do as little as you can to get by and have them looking as well as you can, but you don't want to be antagonising them, you know, they're, they deserve to be looked after as, as well as a, a champion should. And he, he was a, a real sprinting champion as well. His pedigree's up here on the wall by Dark Angel, that great sideline out of a mare by Caddo Genera himself, mm -hmm. a, a wonderful sprinter, wonderful group one sprinter, trained by, by Alex Scott and the family going all the way back uh, with some famous names. Um, just in terms of how you keep horses like him in routine, is it as important as keeping a, a racehorse in training in routine? Yeah, I think routine's very important to stallions in particular. Um, so Ken would feed it. 5.45 every morning and um, then we would come in, the lads come in around 10 to 7 and um, get the bridle on, muck them out, groom them ready for a covering session at 8. Well, now, would he take a good groom? Would he be happy with a good groom? Yeah, yeah, you don't want to go over the top. Um, I always think 10 minutes is plenty a um, couple of times a day and well, and he does himself very well, he's a good eater um, and, and just looks after himself. So. Yeah, he, he doesn't mind being groomed at all. And so in covering season, which is between February 14 and, I suppose, now-ish really, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Um, how many mares would he generally cover a day when he's busy? Uh, two or three a day yeah. when he's busy, yeah. And, and he does it no hassle whatsoever. The first half of the season, he would be exercised in hand for 90 minutes in the morning and in the box for the rest of the day, and it just keeps him fresh and able to keep up to the demands of covering. It's hard work for these horses. Because that's the interesting thing, isn't it? Covering three mares alone is not enough to keep him fit. He needs the fitness conditioning yes. to be able to manage the covering. Yeah, of course. And he wears a Sir England side reins when he goes and exercises, and it just makes them use himself properly and walk in the right posture. Um, so when you're looking at a stallion, when you're looking at an active stallion, quite a young one like him, he's only, what is he now, seven years yeah. old, what do you want to see from them in terms of their, their musculature? Well, just a nice outlook. Um, Harry wouldn't be the strongest looking stallion in the world. But uh, he's well put together, he's got that sprinting hind quarter on him, his strong shoulder. Um, but yeah, you like to see a nice a little crest on the neck and just look like a man, you know. Mm. But when we talk about stallions letting down after they've come off the race course, we don't, we don't mean like you just let them go slobby and get yeah, fat, you still want to keep them toned. Yeah, it's a completely different type of fitness. Um, and I guess you would um, look at them like bodybuilders, you know, they're big and strong and powerful because They've got, like I said before, they've got to be powerful to do their job. So you're turning them from a sort of a track athlete yeah. to, a, to, a, to a sort of weightlifter. Yeah, that's exactly it, Nick. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Gareth, thank you for letting me spend a little bit of time with, with Harry Angel. He's clearly a horse with plenty to say for himself, as he did on the race course. And it's an important year for you, Harry Angel, because your first yearlings are coming up this autumn. And I'm sure they'll make a significant splash.